and welcome to another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the preserve and restore command. Now first let's start with what do they actually do. Well they reset the data after a program ends running and that may seem strange to some so let's actually just take a look at exactly what it does. If I for instance use this nice data set you can find online via the web use command college we get a nice little data set that shows some college grades and GPA and how many hours they spend and so forth. So you see GPA, hour, year, number. Now suppose I want to use the collapse command as we've seen earlier to try and calculate means for each of these four years. But then once I use the collapse command, the data is forever altered. Or is it? And that's where preserve and restore can come and help you quite a lot. So let's close this first and try the collapse command first of all. So this is something we've seen before. We collapse, we generate the mean of the GPA variable, and we do it by each of the years in the data set. So this here will collapse the data set down to be only consisting of the means per each year or per year, as you can see here. But now the data is, well, ruined in that sense, because suppose we wanna go back and simply use the original data set. You could of course go in and always use a clear command, but you could also just encapsulate this in first a preserve and then followed by a restore command. So what it does here in terms of the coding, anything that comes after preserve, well, you put the data aside essentially in original copy. And once you hit restore, it then resets to the moment preserve was enacted. So if I run this entire code here, we're actually not going to see anything happening because the code would then restore back to its original state here at preserve. So when I look at the data now, I will have my original data set. Now this doesn't only work with the collapse command, of course, but you can also, when you wanna say, alter the data in any other possible way, limit to a subset via an if statement or delete anything that is a certain number or agrees to a certain condition, and you can simply reset it. So very good for regression analysis. You run a regression, you set the preserve, you then run for a subset if you want to and altering the data, and then you put restore to simply reset to the moment preserve was enacted. So that is actually all there's to it. And I hope that this little example here can help you understand how you can use better preserve and restore in data. So I hope you enjoyed today's little class here in Stefan's classroom, and I hope to see you back for another class in Stefan's classroom. Bye bye now. <laughs>